I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on polynomial equations. Here is an interesting equation to solve. x to the power of 5 minus x to the power of 4 minus x cubed minus x squared minus 2x equals to 0. Now when we say solve, we need to find all possible values of x. Now to solve this equation, we can definitely take x common. So in that case, we get x and we get here x to the power of 4 minus x cubed minus x square minus x minus 2 equals to 0. Now to factor this quartic equation, we need to try numbers 1 plus minus or plus minus 2. So that should give us the uh, factor. If we get 0, then we do have a factor. So let's try the value for p of 1. Now if I substitute 1 here, I get 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2, which is definitely not equal to 0. But if we try 2 here, in that case 2 to the power of 4 is 16 minus 2 cube is 8 minus 2 square is 4 minus 2 and then minus 2. So that gives you 0. So that means for x minus 2 is a factor, correct? So this implies that x minus 2 is a factor, correct? Okay, so if x minus 2 is a factor, let us divide this uh, by x minus 2 and see what do we get. So, so we'll divide this quadratic equation by x minus 2 now. We have x to the power of 4 minus x cubed minus x squared minus x minus 2. So it goes 3x cubed times, so which is x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed. That gives you x cubed minus x squared. So we could do it plus x squared, so which is x cubed minus 2x squared. So that will give you x squared minus x. And we can now multiply by x, so we get uh, x squared minus 2x. That gives you x minus 2, so we get plus 1. And we do get remainder as expected as 0, right? So we get the other factor also. Now, we could write this equation. We'll take it on the right side and we'll say our polynomial. Now, equation can be written as x times x minus 2 times x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 equals to 0. Now here we can do group factoring, right? So, so now we can say it is x times x minus 2. Let me put a square bracket. Taking x square common here, we get uh, x plus 1 and we do have x plus 1 factor equals to 0. So we could write this as x times x minus 2. x plus 1 is a common factor now. And we get x squared plus 1 as another factor equals to 0. So the polynomial can be written as x times x minus 2 times x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 equals to 0. Okay? So we have all these uh, valid roots for this polynomial. So we have our answer now as x equals to 0, 2, minus 1, right? And if you're working in the, working in the domain of uh, natural numbers, in that case, uh, I mean real numbers, then only three solutions are there. Otherwise, we have a solution plus minus i. Is it okay? So that is how we will actually, now let me say if you're working in x belongs to real numbers. In that case, we have only three solutions where x belongs to real numbers, right? So this will give us a complex solution. Iota will be the answer for that particular case. So however, we restrict ourselves to real numbers. And so we have 0, 2, and minus 1 as our solution for the given polynomial equation. 
I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.